That was nuts. What's up guys, welcome to today's video. In today's video, we're going to be cutting the bonnet. Oh, I'm actually like almost shaking, I'm that worried and scared because even though yes, you can get another bonnet, it's uh, you don't want to stuff it up. You don't want to screw it up and uh, ooh. All right, let's get into it. Alrighty, so I put the bonnet up on a panel stand so that it is, uh, I don't know, accessible to cut and easier to do, like work on. Um, and now what I'm pretty much going to do is I'm going to, first of all, measure the bonnet from edge to edge, front to back. So I know the rough kind of me measurements. Then I'll measure from here to here, here to roughly the back here. And that will give me the tolerances and the rough window of the bonnet. Um, so then I can just measure from here to here, from here to here, from here to here. And then I can make my first cut, which will follow along this line and go across here. Cause if it's as big as the manifold, then it's as big as the blower. Um, and then once I've done, like made that first cut, we'll take the blower and the hat off the car We'll put the bonnet back on the car and then I'll put the blower back on because then the uh, the bonnet should be coming. I'll take this cog off, but it'll roughly come like around here and then I can literally put some tape on the bonnet, mark around this cog and then we'll have our main, main objective of the main hole. And then once I've got that on and that good to go and cut, I'll then lift the bonnet and then I can figure out how much I need to cut for around the injector hat. Then we'll have a fully functioning bonnet that will raise up and down. So right now, I'm literally just gonna smash a load of tape on this and then we'll start measuring. Alrighty, so like normal, I set up a time lapse and it didn't freaking work. Um, I only taped the bonnet, but still I just wanted to test to see because I updated my phone, see if, it were, if the time lapses would work. But again, it doesn't. So I'll show you what I've done so far. So I literally just got the bonnet all taped up, ready to go for the rough cut area that we're gonna do. Um, and now I'm going to start measuring. Cool, so 57, 59, cool, cool, cool. All righty, I'll put the camera down. I'll measure up the, the bay. And once I've measured up the bay, do it under the bonnet. I should have a nice little, nice little window that I have to cut for my first cut. Let's get it. All righty, so we've got the first line pretty much marked out. Um, now it probably will be the tiniest bit too small, but it is so much easier to make a hole bigger than it is to make a big hole smaller. So I got Indy helping me so I could just measure up from all the sides and everything. Um, but as they say, measure twice, cut once. So even though we did measure three or four times before we started drawing on the tape, I will still, uh, yeah, I'll still do it, measure it again just before we cut it. Alrighty, dog. <laughs> Whew, this is really nerve wracking. <laughs> Okay, so most of the scary part is over with. I actually don't think this line's straight. Oh, it might be. Either way, we're just gonna cut through these supports at the back, the big thick bits that the, that the grinder couldn't get all the way through to, and then it should pretty much fall out. Let's give it a go. Alrighty, 
so we've got the center bit out the first cut and the awesome thing is is there's still so much structure in the bonnet we still have a lot more cutting to do especially for the snout and other things but like it is great to know that there's still so much structure in the bonnet um i don't know if you can really see but we were really on an angle with one of the cuts because we we're following the tape line and not the actual what was actually straight so we've got to fix this line first then we're going to put the bonnet back on uh, we have a little marker where the snout is, so we're probably just going to cut, I don't know, just wing it and cut some more. But it's gone really good so far, and it's, uh, I'm really happy with it, and I haven't stuffed up yet. <laughs> yet. Yeah. Alrighty, so, first test fit. It's a little bit, it's a little bit, like, tight. So, I can obviously, what we're going to do is we're going to cut all the way down to here. Because I know it looks like it's too much from here, but the snout... The snout comes to about here, and then, uh, oh, it's a, bit, it's a little bit closer in, but then, so from where the snout is here, the belt will probably come to about here because it goes to the side, it doesn't just go straight down. Um, so we'll probably just cut out this whole box, and hopefully it is good. But it looks really cool. We will have to find some type of front windscreen mount to go across here, or I might, like I may even just freaking leave it. These bars here, they're the windscreen wiper motors, but that'd be really good to let out some extra heat. So it should be perfect. Alrighty, I'm going to now measure off this straight line, cut the bonnet, put it on, and we can get a good look at how it's going to look. That kind of rhymed. Oh, I didn't rhyme, I just repeated myself. But how cool does that look with just like the cheeky, sneaky blower sticking out? <laughs> Love it. Alrighty. On to the next bit. Now, the good thing about this is it now makes it even easier to remove the bonnet myself. It will. Things are a little bit misaligned there, but like, as you can see, the bonnet still has so much strength in it, which is awesome, because I didn't think it would. Um, it might be a different story once we cut this next bit out, but Bob's your uncle, we'll give it a go. Alrighty, so there's that last hole cut. Um, need to trim off this little bit in here. Maybe deburr it and stuff, but I can't believe I did that and I didn't ruin it. Oh man, that was a couple times where like, where you're hitting the, the inner skin of the bonnet and the, the grinder would jump because you're trying to cut too much at once. Oh man, that was so stressful. I can't believe I didn't do it. And on this side, I wasn't paying attention and I almost cut to the end of this black line, which would have been really freaking annoying. But... This, this will probably still need so much more cutting once we've got the rest of the engine and stuff. This is just gonna make it so the, the way that the car sits now, it's actually gonna be able to, to work kind of thing. Alrighty, let's freaking put it on. It's a little bit more flimsy, but still like one hand. Alrighty, now, yep, you can see a lot down there now, but I'm gonna pull the tape off now and I'm going to put the hat on and the other cog. All right, so if you're wondering how this actually connects so that they can drive to the outside, inside here, there's a spline and that goes inside of this, which is connected straight to the rotors. I'm gonna actually show you from the top view. So this is connected to the end. You've got splines in here that it connects to. And now when this is rotating, that's what's forcing air into the motor. You got that turning. That's forcing air into the motor. But obviously you couldn't have this rotating mass without it. So it's pretty much just a cover for the snout that you're seeing. And it's got a spline on the inside, which goes to the face, which you then put a cog on the outside of. But the inside's spinning, the outside's there and it bolts here. Because I remember I always used to wonder, now obviously that's not actually done up. It's literally just dummy fit. But if you're, ever, if you're ever wondering how that works, now you know. Alrighty, so now we've got a bonnet on the car with the blower. Now, I don't know if I've mentioned this before, 
But with the, the VE VF chassis, the way that like, it's just so deep and the motor sits so low, even with a high rise manifold, it's, it's crazy how like only half the blower sticks out of the bonnet. Um, now, yeah, the bonnet's not actually like latched at the moment and it's like not actually up here. It's, it's kind of just sitting where it's supposed to go because it'll have to come off again. But yeah, like even though it does stick up heaps, like if this is perfectly even, it's like still almost in line with the roof. Um, it's, it's, it's crazy how like with a high rise manifold, you'd expect the blower to be sticking out of the bonnet. Whereas like this looks like there's a, a, not like a low rise, but a standard manifold on it. But that's going to be where I'm going to call it quits for today. Actually, first I want to ask, um, do you guys reckon it'd be better to keep the hinges so that the bonnet can rotate or like lift like a standard bonnet? If we do it that way, we have to cut much more out of the bonnet so that it can go around the injector hat, so it can lift around everything, yada, yada, yada. Or do we just pin it at the back? So use like hood pins and then the stock latch at the front. And like, cause you can lift the bonnet with one hand like you saw before, just slide the bonnet off and slide it on whenever we need to take it on, take it off. Cause it's gonna give us more room that way anyways if we need to work on it. So should we, t should we just pin it at the back or should we use those hinges? Now I know a lot of people will probably laugh at me because I went to so much effort with those hinges and now I may not even be using them, but I guess at the time when I was doing that, I had no idea that I was gonna go blown with the wagon. So if they need to go, then they're going, it doesn't matter. So yeah, I'm, I'm kind of leaning towards just using hood pins at the back, just so that we don't have to cut more of the bonnet. I wanna keep as much of the bonnet as possible, just cause like, I don't know, it looks cool. But whatever works, works, whatever we end up doing, either way, it doesn't bother me. Alrighty, that's gonna be the end of this video. Now that we've got the bonnet cut and everything and everything on, I'm actually going to plastic wrap the entire car right now, or like drop sheet it and everything, because in Friday's video, we're going to paint the blower, we're gonna paint the manifold, paint the cogs, um, pretty much everything that's polished and not black is going black. So yeah, pretty much that's all I really need to paint and everything. Um, and then I'm also going to clear coat the, uh, the carbon hat again. So you can see that like, Yes, it is, it is pretty good and everything, but I want that deep gloss. So I'm going to uh, tape off everything that I don't need and everything, give it a quick scuff down and clear coat it. So that's gonna be in Friday's video. Everything's really gonna come together. And then uh, actually on Friday, I'll be heading out to Sydney. Fingers crossed they don't close the borders. And yeah, we're gonna actually start getting some, some performance work done on the engine so that we can actually start properly building all of this uh, instead of just kind of sitting, sitting it on each other. Um, but yeah, that's going to be it for today's video. I'm going to catch you guys in the next one, Friday, 6 p.m. Be there, be square. Alrighty, guys, catch ya. Peace.